Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to Scoutadelic and this month it's all about crafty stuff. So today we're going to make some moving paper fish. It sounds cool. All you need for it is some scissors, some paper and some sellotape or glue. Okay, simple. Best of all, what you want to do is you want to get obviously your bit of paper into a square and then obviously you want to fold it down the middle so you've got obviously a little bit of a triangle type bit like that which usually most origami things do happen like that then next you want to obviously put fold these ends in so it looks a bit like a kite I always I always say it looks like a kite there we are a bit like that like a kite see 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 where I was going with that yeah <laughs> then what you want to do is you want to open it out like that and you want to do it so that you're back to you know your, your half and you can see obviously your oh, cut here yeah like that so that's what you want to do then with your scissors what you want to do is you want to start roughly about a little bit up and you want to use your scissors so you want to go from this where the fold is obviously this is the open bit where the fold is at up to that line there so you're going to be cutting like that and then you want um, about like a nail width in between each you want to keep on going all the way up. so you don't want to go past that line that like sort of crease that you made earlier so like that so you should have obviously um, all these cut out you should have that piece obviously not cut at all okay then you want to open it like that and make the the top bit a little bit curved okay so what I mean by that is like this so, Like so. Then what you want to do is you want to either glue this side because what you're going to do is you're going to put these two together like that. Okay? So you can either glue it or sellotape it, whichever is easiest for you. So that's what you obviously need to do. So you've got your little cuts there and obviously those two together. And there we go. So you've got your bottom taped or glued together and Here's your bendy fish. <laughs> and then now you just need to obviously decorate it up. So what you also now need to do is with your extra bit of card or paper, um, you want to make like a little mouth. Okay. So... Something like that. To stick it at the bottom of your fish. Then you want to make some fins for it and a tail. So get a different bit of card or paper, different colour. You just want to fold it, not much, just a just a little bit. Uh, forgot about that. And then you want to make like a love heart. So obviously half of a love heart. See what I mean? Obviously, it looks like a little love heart. And then you want to do two of those. So one kind of small one, and one a little bit like that. So you've got, you should have two hearts then. So the the smaller of your hearts, you're going to stick onto the back about there. So here we are. So my my. My fish has now got a tail, okay? And then you also want to obviously do the fins. Now, with your other heart, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut that in half. I 
and you've got a nice enough fold to obviously guide you there. And they want to go obviously on this, this main bit here, so not where all your your little cuts are, but obviously on this, this main bit, but under here. So you should have uh, one there, and one obviously on the other side as well. So there we go, so you've got obviously your tail at the back, and then you've got your, your two fins there. And then once you've got obviously your fins on, then you need to obviously do a, a tongue as well for the fish. So using your green card, you just need to obviously draw a tongue. If you want it, it be smaller than your last like sort of tongue. There's, there's my mouth, and there's my tongue. And if you see, it's, it's definitely smaller than that one. So you just need to stick that in. So you now should have your fish, your tail, your fins, and your tongue. So the last thing that you need to do is get some white paper and you want two circles and then you obviously want to colour them black on the inside and you want to stick them there like this. And there you have your <laughs> How cool is this? Hey! Eh? Oh. So there you are, your movable paper fish. If you've liked this video then don't forget to give it a like. If you haven't already subscribed, 80% of our audience actually aren't subscribed. So scroll down, if you see a red button, click the red button. And if you've enjoyed this then don't forget to obviously share and how absolutely cool is this? This is ace. I love it. Um, anyway, I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Goodbye! <laughs>